Hello YouTube people, let's talk about this little beauty. If you love Casio F91W, which is amazing watch, I, I love this watch very much. But if you like this one and want something a little bit fancier, sometimes to spice it, so to spice up the things a little bit. <laughs> so this watch is just perfect for that. And I, I've chosen the one without the blue the blue line around the face there is one like this with face of this watch but the one i have is the blacked the blacked out version which has this stealth looking face which i absolutely love it looks wonderful well basically it's the same watch as f91w except it is a little bit shinier it has this shiny uh, slim lightweight bracelet and it has different lugs and that's all that's that's all the difference basically it has the same module as well and the original bracelet is kind of is okay it feels good on the hand it has a slidey clasp system which is very easy to micro adjust and this watch slides under a cuff, even under the tightest cuff without a problem, it's, it's wonderful. You can use this watch as a dress watch in my opinion. It's amazing, I love it. But, I kinda, you know, the face is stealthy, but the bracelet is not so much. So let's try to push it a little bit further and make it stealthier looking watch. And... Here it is, the stealthy looking little beautiful watch. I took this black rubber strap of original F91W and I believe this black strap works with this black face way better than this uh, shiny bracelet in my opinion, you know, just look for yourself it fits it very well but you know what we can actually push it a little bit further and make it even stealthier and that's a little bit controversial because i'm about to change the polarizing filter on this lcd screen change the angle of polarizing filter so i'm gonna convert it into negative screen and it's controversial because those numbers are very slim and it, it's probably gonna be difficult to read the time but whatever let's try let's make it stealthy so let's see what happens okay let's start the procedure I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to leave any oils on the on the inside of the watch any fingerprints as well so it's basically to protect the watch and let's open it up and let's remove the rubber seal I already oiled this sponge let's put this rubber seal on the sp sponge already oh. it's rather thick rather big rubber seal I would say pretty good one now let's remove the how do I do that I don't even know I instantly going to flip over this face of the watch because I don't want to get any dust inside and here it is the little face of this little watch looks pretty sharp so my goal is to remove the top layer of the filter of this lcd screen to remove the polarizing filter and it's pretty tricky thing to do without cracking up the screen or scratching it up so i do not recommend you doing that if you're gonna do that be very very careful so let's start i have already sharpened up the end of this screwdriver 
Oh, it's much easier than I thought. I already got under the polarizing filter. And the main thing is never hurry. Always do it very, very carefully and slowly. Be very, very patient. I will show you what polarizing filter does to the face of LCD screen which has already removed polarizing filter. So this is polarizing filter and at some angles it is negative and other angles it is positive. It is actually way more legible than I thought it's gonna be. And here comes one of the trickiest parts. To glue it on perfectly aligned. Have to have a lot of a lot of patience for that. Align one one corner and glue it on. And that's how I cracked the screen. I pushed it just very, very slightly and I cracked the screen. Oh man, almost no force at all and the screen has cracked. Okay, I guess I'll have to buy another one. Okay, so it shows how careful you have to be doing this. So I highly recommend you not doing this, but well, you live and learn. You know what guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's not buy another one of these, but let's use the module out of this one instead. It's much, much cheaper way. Let's just buy another one of these watches. So what I'm gonna do, use the module from this watch, which is exactly the same. And this time I'm gonna be very, very careful. So again, just try removing the top layer of the polarizing of the filter without cracking the screen. Wish me luck. Let's be extra, extra careful. Yes, I got under. Very, very slow, very patient, be very patient. Be very, very slow. Extra careful. Please, please don't break it. <laughs> very, very slowly, very slowly. Let's try to peel it off evenly. Man, I have never been this patient in my life. Oh my god. Yeah. Now, let's peel off the back layer of the polarizing filter. So it will get sticky. Now, this time with no force. Please, please, very, very, very carefully, please, very carefully. Shit, that's not straight. Yes. Now, no force, no force. Just slightly touch it, just touch it. Slightly. And yes, it is gluing up very nicely. Oh man, it looks so good. Look, immediately, I can show you. Wow, it's so legible. It, it is actually very legible. It's a, quite a surprise to me. Wow, nice. So I'm a little bit afraid to push out any harder, any of those bubbles and just very, being very, very extra careful. Very nice. I like what I see. Okay, let's put it back into the case. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, let's finish assembling the watch. Okay, 
Oh, finally, I can take off those gloves. Now, let's clean off the watch. It is all a little bit oily now. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. It has some kind of a, a brown tint to it. Looks amazing. I love it. Let's check if all the buttons work. Yeah, great. Everything works just fine. Oh my god, it looks so impressive. Absolutely love it. Well, first of all, huge, huge respect to watchmakers. Man, this job requires so much patience, it's unbelievable. Even screwing in that little screw, my hands are shaking, I just can't, my nerves, I, I cannot do that. It takes me so much effort to do such a seemingly simple thing. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous, it's not for me. But I'm happy with the end result. Well, happy and sad, as you saw, you know, my Grail watch, look what I did to my Grail watch. I mean, it doesn't have a module anymore. But, you know, at least it's not that expensive and I'm definitely buying another one. Definitely. And here's the result. And, oh my god, it looks incredible. It's, you can say it's one off, that's it, it's custom. Custom strap, custom LCD. Now, now it's stealthy, now it's properly stealthy. We will sacrifice but we have the results and actually i'm pretty happy how it turned out because there is no dust inside no air bubbles inside and it turned out to be pretty clean and well finished so i'm rather surprised knowing how difficult it was for me <laughs> to keep my hands steady <laughs> but here we are and yes I was afraid that the screen is gonna be very hard to read very unlegible but I must say in real it's not difficult at all you know and here is in comparison with the basically the same screen not much of a difference honestly but yeah it's it's a little bit more difficult to read but not that bad not that bad it's still usable still perfectly fine usable and it looks so cool now oh my gosh so that's it sacrifices were made what you're gonna do you know so if you're gonna do such mod just uh, as you saw be careful <laughs> so have a nice day thanks for watching goodbye